Ohayou gozaimasu and good morning from Tokyo. It's day three on our trip. We're in our hotel, just about to check out before we head to Kyoto, which is very exciting. We're staying in the Park Hotel in the Shiodome Shimbashi area. We'd never been here before, but it's a really cool area. There's loads of izakais about, and it's the sort of media capital of Japan. But also, look at this hotel room view. It is amazing. You can see the old Shinkansen there. That's Shimbashi Station. And in the distance, you can even see the Imperial Palace. Another reason to consider the Shimbashi area and the Shiodomi area is because Tsukiji Fish Market, which we went to yesterday, watch the video here or here, I don't know which way it is on YouTube. Tsukiji Fish Market is about a sort of 15 minute walk, so this is a really good place to stay if you want to get there early, which we definitely recommend you do because the queues are ridiculously long. Anyway, time to go to Kyoto Station to get the Shinkansen, Ekiben time, Mount Fuji, Kyoto, let's go! The next station is Tokyo. Everything's so heavy. So here we have the Ekiben. This is the train bento or train lunch box. They have such a big selection here. It's actually quite premium as well, so the price isn't that cheap. 1,500 yen, but the quality is really good. It's like ultra fresh. There are so many options, but it's it's so busy. Lol, the classic Shinkansen. I'm going for this one. It's got lots of different things. Aomori. I don't know what these are, but it looks cool. I'm having it. And ashley has got these. So we've got two onigiri, some sort of bread bun, shrimp katsu tempura, a meatball, potato fries, something, maybe like a karage, and then a carrot thing. Fish in my bento is actually really delicious. What sort of fish was it? Sable. Sable fish. I don't think I've ever had that outside of Japan, but it's very tasty. If you want that sweet, sweet Mount Fuji view, you need to make sure you sit in seat E if you're traveling from Tokyo to Kyoto, or seat A if you're traveling from Kyoto back to Tokyo. On to our last one. I ordered the children's one and this one because I'm starving and I've not eaten today and it's about 9.30. And we want to take this home. And we want to take this home as a sort of gift or a lunchbox for work. <laughs> Look at all the allergens it has. 28 allergens. If you're allergic to anything, you can't eat this. <laughs> they always come with chopsticks, Ooh, look at which is good. Mm. It shows you what's exactly in it, all in Japanese of course. From, oh, it's tohoku. Mm. It's a tohoku specialty. Uh, ben, ben, Becky Ben. Ben. Ben, ben, ben. The big reveal. Ooh, it's so colourful. What the hell is that? Specialties <laughs> from Tohoku. I think it's veggies. That's the ingredients list. We'll translate it and then put it up on the screen now. I'm jealous yours looks better than mine. <laughs> mm, that was really good. It was slightly more expensive though, it was like 1,800 mm. this. 1,800 yen. 
so cheap in pounds. It's like 10 quid. Eki bends are usually cold, so if you don't like cold food, you might not like it. Although they do have self-heating ones. Yeah, but some are self-heating. I didn't like the look of them. This looks, this is great. A lot of variety, fish, vegetables, rice, you name it. All from Tohoku. And lots of small things, so if you don't like one bit, that's fine, because it's only small. Some of the tastes in here are very peculiar. But when in Japan, peculiar things are great. A couple of essential things you need to know about the Japanese bullet train or Shinkansen is that there are luggage restrictions in terms of size for your baggage. So if your bag is over 160 centimeters of linear dimensions, width, height, and depth, you will need to reserve the seats with the oversized baggage compartments which are at the back of every train compartment. We mentioned it earlier in the video, but our top tip for the Tokyo to Kyoto route or vice versa, because it's the most popular route, book it early. Not in terms of before you get to Japan, but I would recommend when you land in Japan on that very first day, you should probably buy that ticket or any other long ones to ensure that you get the best seat and if you want to get the Mount Fuji view, that you choose the right seat A or E depending on which way you're going.